Um, so I'm going to talk about multiple radio buttons. Um, the first, firstly, there's a scenario and schema of how I came across needing to solve this problem. And there is, of course, an out of the box collection radio buttons option in um, Rails. And I'll talk about why that wasn't the whole solution. Um, then I've got a Rails solution, and which is functional, but not very pretty. And then there's a prettier version if you're willing to use a bit of CSS and JavaScript. And then at the end are links. And the links will include um, a GitHub project with all this source code. And I've pushed it up onto Heroku app. So you don't need to take notes. You should be able to find all the materials afterwards if you want them. Uh, I'll put them into the Slack channel as well once we're done. Right, so a typical context where you end up wanting multiple radio button options on a single page is where you're reviewing feedback. So you've got multiple users, multiple things to be reviewed. And so if you're thinking TripAdvisor, Goodreads, these kinds of sites, you'll often see like loads of things listed side by side. Uh, and this is the schema I had. It's actually very similar to the real schema I had, but I also set up a slightly fake one for this project. Um, basically, the only thing that's different is I didn't bother putting device onto the users. Um, so um, I have a note to self here. Um, I've got into trouble with join tables in the past. Um, and it's always just a useful thing when you're building this kind of a schema to just have a quick moment to think, am I do I put the fields on the, in the right place? And in this case, one of the question marks was over the score. So does it belong on the good book? Is there a book score? Well, there might be an aggregate, but I need a per user book score as well. And then on the user, well, they could score multiple books. So I need uh, multiple books user scores. And the net effect is I looked at this and I went, yeah, the score is in the right place on these tables. So here's a solution with collection radio buttons. And this is a list of books down here. I've just screenshotted it small so you could see a couple of the problems. So the first issue is the vertical layout. Well, that's probably fairly straightforward to fix with a bit of CSS. But the bigger issue is if you click any of these buttons, um, and I might show you a live demo later if I get enthusiastic and we have time, um, it, it flips away from the old selection. So you can't make two choices on, multi on both different books. And that's because the radio input, then this is the syntax of it that gets created by the collection button, uh, collection radio buttons, does not have separate values for separate book IDs. This is what you get, and it's just got the different scores on it, but having a different score number doesn't really help you. Um, so here's a very quick snippet of the source code, and it really is basically as it comes out of the tin. Um, and it kind of works, but <laughs> with the caveat. So here's a rail solution where you can select multiple scores against the books. And this is not hugely different, um, except that I've built a magic hidden field to store the book ID in. And I've changed it to use a span so that they go in line. And then that solves the styling problem where they were vertical. Um, I had a quick look at this in the Chrome debugger. It took me a long time to get it right. So I've included some screenshots of where I was looking in the debugger so that you can see how I got to this answer. And there's quite a lot of looking between, okay, this is what the element looks like in the page. And then in the network tab, which it doesn't show by the way, but it is the network tab. You'll see there's two of these. One of them is the get, and then one is the put when I'm doing the update. Um, and you can tell because it's got form data basically on the put, and then that shows you what you're sending. And then you can start to put some debug in the controller and just make sure you're processing it sensibly on the controller end as well. Um, there's a lot of best practice debate we could have around here. I'm going to skip over it fairly quickly for time, but you, I just wanted you guys to be aware that I don't necessarily think this is absolutely and totally the best practice. However, I defend that it is the most pragmatic solution. I spent quite a long time working out the syntax for the hidden field. And what it ended up as is it's succinct and it's fairly straightforward to parse in the controller. So the controller itself is fairly succinct as well. Um, and that's basically a create statement. Um, the other debate I had with myself is, shouldn't this be a create page? I mean, if you're being purely restful that you're creating things, it would be a create. But Rails controllers create are optimized for a single create, not a multiple. 
And I kind of talked myself into it by saying, look, the books and the user, they already exist. So we're just gluing together with the join it table entry. And it just made it easy since we know who the user is to just go, actually, um, let's just do an update on the user. And then we can do the creates as a one liner and it just all dropped out as you saw on the previous page. And so here's the final solution which takes away collection radio buttons and replaces it with our own JavaScript. Um, I wanted to make sure there was an option available that didn't rely on JavaScript because I'm conscious this is a Ruby on Rails group. If you're willing to invest a little bit of time playing with some JavaScript or some jQuery just to spice up your pages, you can make them look really pretty without having to go full React, by the way. It's, it's a nice combo that I like with Ruby on Rails. Um, so here it is. And if I get to a live demo, it's really nice because it actually flips up and down as you hover. Uh, and suddenly you've got stars instead of those funny round circles, and they could be pretty much any icon you like. I've used these from um, Font Awesome. Right, but you need to do a little bit more work. Um, I got this one before right to left by die solution, which I'll show you the source code for in a minute. I originally got it from a blog post on Medium somewhere that I have lost, so I'm really sorry. Sorry, my apologies to the original coder. Um, it is reused, but I can't find where from anymore, so I can't give credit. Um, then there's just a really straightforward JS file. I normally code in ES6 and jQuery. I've actually built this particular demo. I built it in uh, pure JS just to prove that it really didn't need anything very sophisticated. Um, and then the other little thing to notice in here that because we're doing a reverse index from four to zero and right to left, um, the star index needs to subtract rather than add um, for each field. Um, here's the SCSS. I have used SCSS, but that was um, makes it a lot easier to write syntactically. Um, I can't see. Hold on a minute. I'm just going to shrink my screen a bit. Apologies for the missing credit. That's the bit I already showed, talked about. Um, so, um, having got the SCSS, um, there's a magic tilde selector in here, which does some magic, which is quite complex to explain. So I've put the link. Um, it's to do with, it means you don't need to run J JavaScript against every single icon in the page. You can just pick the one that's been selected and it basically then changes all the ones to the left of it. And it's the reason why you need the right to left because it makes it easier for that piece to work. Right, inside the JavaScript, um, You've got the, it looks up the secret field and then updates the score on it. And then there's a toggle on the class list. And there's a couple of tiny fixes around, needed around here. I've created them as issues in the GitHub so uh, project. So if anyone feels inspired to have a look and have a look themselves, you might spot the details when you're in there. Um, and here are the links. So collection radio buttons, the GitHub repo is up and live at the Heroku live demo, and I'll post all these links afterwards into the chat as well.